So recently, Jaru Jaru J, the popular Delta Run theorist channel, posted a video in which he explained why he thought that hyperlink blocked the infamous dialogue by Spamton G Spamton and is probably L O V E as in level of violence. And so I actually wanted to make a video on this exact topic and since he made it you might think that I do not have anything else to say about it but I actually wanted to make an extinction sort of video oh, that actually tied us into his very own Ralze theory because well I believe that LV in Undertale has one property that most people overlook the property to resurrect half dead entities such as the infamous demon Kara from death. On the genocide road, Kara's dialogue pretty much indicates that Frisk's power and their determination in combination allowed them to claw their her way back from death and made them an entity that sought power. Now you might be thinking that wait doesn't Kara say that it was determination that brought them back but upon looking closer Kara's exact words are your power awakened me from my death. My human soul my determination were not really mine, but yours. So, oh, it is likely that Kara is either talking about determination or LV. You might be mistaken that it is determination Kara is speaking about, but I doubt it. First of all, as another Jaru video reference here, but he himself pointed out that Frisk is most likely a pacifist, so it is most likely that their determination is actually going down as their LV is going up in this route. And second of all, if determination is what caused Kara's in reincarnation, then by that logic, by the end of the pacifist route too, Kara should have been resurrected because in the end of the pacifist route, Frisk becomes so determined in fact that they are able to reload to some extent even though Azrael has already claimed control over the timeline and also they are able to do it without the help of a safe save point. So how does this tie into Jaru's Ralse theory? Well, I am not going to say the theory here, I am just going to linked in the cards right now anyway saw the video great so he just said that uh, the one possessing Chris is as real soul so my theory is that by the end of Delta Rune as real soul would have been totally resurrected and and it, Depending on the route you take, it, he would either be what he normally is or if you know in the weird route, he'd basically be Flavi 2.0. Not just something that I'm saying out without any evidence. We actually see Chris at the end of the chapter becoming more independent from the soul as the game progresses. In chapter 1, Chris is able to pull out the soul once and they have enough energy to just go to uh, their kitchen to eat pie apparently. I am not going to judge them. That's Sans job. Anyway, where is at the end of chapter 2, they do it twice. But you might be thinking, hey, that happens and in both routes. It's not a weird route exclusive thing. 
which brings me to the other part of my theory as you probably saw in the thumbnail that delta rune hun's dark world lv is love now many theories i have seen go through that this might not be the case but let me tell you something what do we do at the end of each chapter you might be saying da we close the dark fountains yeah well what do you think that does as many knowledgeable darkness have pointed out to us in the game well knowledgeable quote on what but i digress uh, that the dark fountains are what gives the darkness their life and essentially by closing the dark fountains we essentially temporarily end their lives now you might think this is a ludicrous claim but hear me out regardless of the path we choose be it pacifist neutral or weird route we always end up with a fixed lv at the end of each chapter and might i mind you in the pacifist route we only do so and we only get the the lv after we seal the dark fountains in the neutral route we get it through defeating certain enemies and in the weird route we get it through killing the enemies and another point is that regardless of the path we still end up with the same it's not like in the weird route we get the lv from killing the darkness and then closing the fountain and i believe this is because while on the pacifist route the enemies is are killed normally and hence added to our lv count when we close the dark fountain by the end of the weird route all the enemies are already dead we dead so they cannot be added to the kill count again which i believe is the reason we end up with the same lv regardless of the path and as i mentioned before you might be thinking that i was not right in my wording previously but yes i did say that at the end of the delta rune when we will resurrect as real i did not say at the end of the weird route the end of delta rune because as i just mentioned we are probably going to to get lv regardless of the route and i don't think i am the only one who knows this i believe that chris themself how figured this out by this point and i think this because of one reason chris op- willingly opens a dark fountain in their own house regardless of what route you take and now you might be thinking that this is done so that they can warn their friends about the player or warn undyne about the player or toriel or do something else but i don't think that's the only reason i believe that chris has another motive in mind as jaru also pointed they are doing this to resurrect azriel they know that regardless of what happens regardless of the prayer decides to be pacifist do a genocide route in the worst case scenario regardless of what happens they will still be progressing on their way to resurrecting their dead brother as such it gives them an extra layer of support and protection that it can still allow them to open a dark fountain because regardless of what happens they will still progress no matter what jaru in their video claimed that chris wanted to do this is because they 
wanted to resurrect as well but he never explained how so i am doing it now i believe that chris is going to do this by accumulating lv in their soul and by doing so they would separate themselves from Azriel at the end of the game. So Daru, if you are watching this video, welcome in advance for this kind of crack but still somewhat reasonable extension that I made to your theory. Uh, also, I think some of you still saw the thumbnail so here's the bonus. One often an underlooked fact that we know from Undertale is that not only do we get XP from killing monsters, but this act only happens when the monster's soul shatters. Yes, we know this because of the two scenes that happened post-war with the two boss monsters, Toriel and Asgore. When we kill Toriel, we only get XP from her battle after her soul has shattered and we never get Asgore's XP. Why does this happen? Well, it's because of one person, Flavi. Regardless of what path you take, regardless of what route you are on, Regardless if, if you choose mercy or to fight as for post battle. Flavi with his friendliness pellets is always the one to shatter Asgore's soul. So that is the reason we never get Asgore's XP because Flavi is the one who shattered the soul and it's not like Pokemon in which XP is shared guys. This is Undertale. Then why does the party he gain XP when you defeat a Darkner? Uh, uh, anyway, yes, you're saying, yeah, In, uh, yeah. So how does this tie to Birdly being dead on the weird route? Well, as many theorists have pointed out, Birdly is likely in a state known as fallen down to clear to clarify this was the state in which the soon to be amalgamates monsters were brought to alphys's lab and during this time it is no, particularly noteworthy that their souls were still intact as that was the main reason that Alphys tried to experiment on them to get their souls and as I just said a monster's XP is tied to the shattering of their soul. So some might claim that Burley is still alive or, or something on the weird route. But let's just consider this. He is still in a fallen down state but not dead his soul is not shattered yet we the player will only get the xp from his death upon his soul shattering i believe this will happen at some point after we he Return from the chapter 3 or chapter 4 dark world. We look at our LV in the light world and it will not be 1. It will be 2 or 3 or something more than 1 depending up upon how much XP we got from Burley. And why does this happen? Because at that point Burley's soul would have shattered from him turning into dust. So that 
his why i think burly is dead at the end of the weird drop anyway thank you for watching and have a nice time